Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Good morning students In this video you are going to learn a part of noun in grammar In the previous video you learnt about noun and its three types right? What were the types of nouns? Common noun Proper noun and collective noun right? What is a proper noun? It, it refers to the general names of a person, place, animal, things, right? Proper noun refers to particular name or specific name given to a person, place, animal or thing. And collective noun is nothing but group of person, animal and things, right? Hope you all remember this. Now, you are going to learn about a new type of noun called the abstract noun. What is the spelling of abstract? A, B, S, T, R, A, C, T. Abstract noun. Before learning this, you should know what are the five sense organs in our body and their uses. What are all the five senses, organs, eyes, ears, tongue, nose and skin, right? What are their uses? We use our eyes to see all the things around us. We use our ears to hear the various sounds around us. We use our tongue to taste delicious food. We use our nose to smell pleasant and unpleasant things. And we use our skin to feel and touch things around us. Here are some nouns. What are all the nouns that you can see in this picture? Let me read it for you. School Bus Shape blocks Toys Slide Backpack Climber Children Blocks Swings Teacher Puzzle Scissors Play-Doh Crayons Ball Lunchbox Tablet Books Paintbrush Computer Sandwich Paper ABC letter blocks Markers Can you all see, hear, touch all these nouns in real life? Yes, you can, right? But there are nouns that you cannot see or touch or you cannot even experience through your senses. These type of nouns can be felt through actions. Look at this chart for your better understanding. What do you see? You see a picture of a brave soldier, a loving mother, a bored student, a kind teacher, some emojis. What are emojis? Emojis are the faces that express few emotions such as happiness, sadness, excitement, etc. Look at the last picture. It is a picture of a honest boy. As you all know, a soldier is known for his bravery or courageousness. Mothers are known for their love and affection. Just like you all being bored at home due to this lockdown, the boy in this picture is also struck in boredom. The next image, the teacher teaches with kindness. 
faces that shows various emotions in the last image you can see a boy giving a wallet or a purse to a man this shows he is honest people who are honest never cheat others the words bravery or courageousness love affection boredom kindness honesty and various emotions are the words that cannot be seen or touched but can be felt through actions these nouns are called the abstract nouns here are few other examples of abstract noun look at the first picture you can see different faces right what is the first face there it shows lots of emotion right first one is excitement the second one is jealousy the third one is sickness the fourth one is curiosity fifth one is pleasure sixth one anger look at the next picture few abstract nouns there love bravery friendship health happiness anger excitement talent childhood knowledge and wealth students abstract noun refers to qualities ideas or emotions that cannot be seen or touched but can be experienced through actions look at this box few examples given in this box right qualities what are all the qualities given there patience honesty courage calm and jealousy emotions few emotions are given here happiness sadness excitement joy and anger ideas thought belief dream knowledge and opinion are few examples of abstract noun hope you understood what is abstract noun you can refer the e textbook for grammar called the grammar gear thank you students